The Young and the Restless Spoilers next week, May 20-24, 2024. Claire sat alone in her small apartment, her mind racing. The constant pressure and manipulation from Summer had worn her down. She cherished her time with Harrison, who had grown attached to her. His innocent joy and the bond they shared made her job worthwhile, but the stress was becoming unbearable. If Kyle can't resolve this, she muttered to herself, I might have to quit. I love Harrison, but I can't handle the drama. Claire's decision. She decided to take a break from seeing Harrison, despite her deep affection for him. Claire hoped that this temporary distance would help Kyle understand the seriousness of the situation. She didn't want to leave, but she also didn't want to be subjected to Summer's relentless hostility. Victor's predicament. Meanwhile, at the Newman residence, Victor was in a dire predicament. He had been hiding Jordan in the wine cellar, and now he had to explain this to Nikki, his wife. Her reaction was anything but calm. Victor, this is insane. You have to let Jordan go, Nikki demanded, her voice trembling with a mix of fear and anger. This is too much. You can't keep her locked up like this. Victor, his usual composed demeanor shattered, pleaded with Nikki. Please, Nikki, try to understand. I had to do it. Jordan kidnapped you and forced you to drink. I couldn't just let her go unpunished. Nikki's eyes softened slightly, but she remained firm. Victor, this isn't the way. I don't condone what she did to me, but keeping her captive is wrong. If you don't release her, I'll have no choice but to go to the police. Victor felt a pang of guilt and desperation. Even his wife couldn't accept his actions, and he knew deep down that what he had done was wrong. But he couldn't let go of the anger and desire for revenge that had driven him to this point. Nikki's ultimatum. Nikki continued, her voice steady and resolute. Victor, I understand your need to protect me, but this is not the solution. You must let Jordan go. This cruelty has to end. If you love me, you'll do the right thing. Victor nodded slowly, realizing he was out of options. All right, Nikki. I'll release her. But we need to be careful about how we handle this. The release of Jordan. Victor and Nikki carefully planned Jordan's release. They knew they had to avoid any further complications. Victor approached the wine cellar, keys in hand, feeling a mix of regret and resolve. He unlocked the door and found Jordan sitting on the floor, her eyes widening in surprise. You're free to go, Jordan, Victor said quietly. But know that if you ever come near my family again, I won't be so lenient. Jordan, weak but defiant, nodded and slowly stood up. I won't forget this, Victor. But thank you for letting me go. Reconciliation and moving forward. With Jordan gone, Victor and Nikki faced the daunting task of rebuilding their lives and trust. The ordeal had left deep scars, but it also brought them closer in some ways. They had to navigate the complex emotions and the aftermath of Victor's actions. Claire's return to Harrison. Back in her apartment, Claire received a call from Kyle. He sounded desperate and sincere. Claire, I understand now. I spoke to Summer, and we're working things out. Please, Harrison needs you. Can you come back? Claire hesitated for a moment, but the thought of Harrison's innocent face made her decision easier. All right, Kyle. I'll come back, but only if things truly change. I can't go through that again. Kyle promised to ensure a better environment for Claire and Harrison. He knew he had to protect the people he cared about and address the issues that had caused so much turmoil. Conclusion In the end, Claire's return marked a new chapter for her and Harrison, while Victor and Nikki faced their own challenges. The complex web of relationships and emotions slowly began to untangle, offering a glimmer of hope for the future. Each person involved had to confront their actions and decisions, learning that sometimes, even the best intentions can lead to unforeseen consequences. Mm -hmm.